What's up, my beardos and weirdos? Two topics here, and today we're gonna look into r slash gayness. I hope you're here for the gay, because it's very gay. <laughs> okay, I'm not an off-brand one topic, but good evening, ladies, lasses, and lasses, and especially you one topic. I know you're watching this video, you... Oh my god, you nice smelling bean. And ev everyone else, welcome to the Click Ladies, Lads and Lasses. Today we're gonna look at r slash crappy off brands, which is a beautiful subreddit I discovered. It has so much good content. And I was uh, I was looking through it at 3 a.m. and I, I probably woke the entire neighborhood because I was laughing uh, voluptuously. Enjoy. Mwah. And if you wanna be voluptuous, Subscribe today! <laughs> Mother knew I wanted a room, but didn't want to waste that much money on one. So she found one for a bargain. Note, it has zero vacuuming ability! There's not even a hole! What does it do? It just drives around randomly? That's the whole point? Wait, there is a video! Oh my god, there's a video of it! Hold on, wait, I have to see this. Oh my god, please! So here's the- <laughs> out on the floor it's not even doing anything keep in mind this is just like a crappy version of one of those little remote cars it just drives around and does nothing <laughs> what is it doing <laughs> oh no it's freaking out fox look out the wild not really roomba roomba a roomba without the roomba <laughs> It's wild! It's oh no! It's rambunctious! Look out! It will devour your feet! It's just bashing into things! But what did they think when they made this? Even if you didn't check the underneath, even if you're like so technologically botched that you're like, oh, it prop maybe it can vacuum without the hole. Wouldn't you need to empty it out at some point? Like I, I think I would have weirded out about my dust sucking vacuum cleaner at some point when it's just like, oh, where does the dust go? <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> you pay for this like three dollars <laughs> oh my god i want to give i want to give one of these to one of my friends as a prank it's like oh you you moved into your own place buddy well here's here's a roomba <laughs> i can't believe it's not butter denial what not butter hunger could it be butter bargaining this is not butter depression unsalted margarine acceptance the progress of crappy brands. I present to you the pinnacle of Shanghai markets, a hot glue NY Yankees hat. <laughs> you didn't even try. This is just some dude in the back room of the store, just. Yeah, that looks good. Oh, look, what did we have here? Uh, this looks absolutely kind of like the original. This can't be real. This, this is a scam. It was a one-time print. No way they have the mango plushies. No way. <laughs> Disclaimer. Please do not purchase these off-brand products yourself, as it severely harms creators, the artists, and companies that we do work with. I am simply buying this because if people are going to rip off my merch, I will at least make content about it and laugh at it. That is the only reason. I am buying it and reviewing it so you don't have to. Now, back to the memes. Oh, Walmart! <laughs> Why is this on the Walmart website? Walmart, what did you do to Mango? <laughs> Why is it cross-eyed? Mango, what happened to you? Why are there so many off-brands of Mango? Oh my god, they're multiplying. Nine sold? Oh heck yeah, this one is a bestseller. Only 91 Swedish crowns. That's really heckin' sweet. From China to Sweden with e-package. <gasps> Look at this <laughs> You know what? Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> Booyah, baby. Mango, you hear that? You're gonna have your own off-brand big brother. Mongo. Very nice. Tomorrow's my last day in Iran. I'm going to miss all of the bootleg restaurants here. Burger next. Freshway. <laughs> okay. I made this picture when I was 12, and it got so popular that an Amazon bot stole it and put it on a pillow. That is such a massive market for just like automated scam products. It is wild the amount of stuff you will find if you do some Google image searches. It's incredible. Eat my shorts, man. Eat pant. Ugh. That's a horrifying cake. That's that's a really good Twitter account. Cake with threatening auras. I should make a video about cakes with threatening auras. Oh my god, I can do that as a birthday video or something. You there! You look like a lasso with class that likes uh, brand clothing and just splurging a little bit to show everyone just that you can. Well, I have the thing for you. Buy your new sperm shirt today. Woo! 
show the, the world that you have have class. At least it's white, so it matches the... Okay, I'm gonna stop. Stuff I saw when I was in China. Thrasher. Gucci. I love myself some piggy Gucci. Hell yeah. Robots. Did they really take the logo from this subreddit for a robot store? That's kind of wild. Like, because it's so niche that hopefully no one is gonna notice that you took it. But still, like, damn. Nutmaster. This, this feels, this feels like a username from someone on the Naughty Hub. <laughs> Why would you use this for a creamy product? Why? Man, that looks pretty cool. Boom Planet. Okay. Family Relic. R Robot Man. <laughs> Alien Invader Bronze. How to say Dalek in the most generic, non-copyright way possible. Absolutely gorgeous, darling. Gorgeous. So you know those Coca-Cola bottles that, that has your name on it? Imagine if we did the same with Nike, but only with one name. I, I present to you Mike. <laughs> Buy your Mike. Just do. It's very specific marketing. The Uncredibles. <laughs> Dude, they all look so bad. What happened to your eyeballs? You have two eyes, and they're like looking in three different directions at once. How is that even possible? Oh my god. Why is Mrs. Uncredible's torso so long? Everything is just off. And why are the legs so thin? I can't do this. Mr. Beast, I spent 24 hours straight in slime. I spent 24 hours straight in slime. Okay. <clears throat> I spent 24 hours straight in an asylum. I spent 24 hours I put a hundred million or bees in my friend's backyard. I put a hundred million or bees in my mom's back. Uh, I spent 24 hours straight in prison. 24 hours to skip. Okay. Okay. So there is, there is a slight pattern here. I wouldn't think there was as much of a pattern if, you know, the timetable of the videos were a little bit scrambled. Then it'll be like, oh, it's just generic challenges, but <sighs> nope. Mario. Ah, is, the, is this a koala Mario? Why would you, why is the mustache a mouth? This is horrifying. This is the kind of stuff, if you ever go to hell, like actual hell, not like the, the hell we go to, you know, with all the cool people and the pirates and the gays, but, but, but like hell hell, uh, this <laughs> would be that. <laughs> France. China. Who ripped off who? We will never know. So here you see, you got a little Ralph Lauren shirt, but there is something different. Oh my god, when your horse just decides to ride you raw. A as in playing polo, but inversed. This is like some, some Bojack Horseman kind of stuff. G, GS4, gaming, what is GS4? Is it Game Station 4? <laughs> is that what this is supposed to mean? GS4, calling for duty, secret operation. Man, I, I wish my grandma would have gotten me calling for duty, secret operation. GS4, need for street. <laughs> Payback time. Yeah, car, cars normally need streets. Yeah, that's, uh, that's a good title. Lepin is officially no more. The knockoff Lego brand, which started operating in 2015, was shut down by Chinese authorities in 2019. Shanghai police and Lego work together. This week, the owner was sentenced to six years in jail and fined $13 million. Aw, no more Meine Raft or Star Vns. <laughs> oh no, it's sad. <laughs> to be honest, off-brand things have like a special place in my heart, to a certain extent. It's very funny. Moscow Life Simulator to get stabbed by a monkey. <laughs> Just like in the real world, it's so immersive. Chocolate copycats. At least they're honest. <laughs> it's not false marketing. Here's a nice little shirt. Autism. <laughs> Is this like a supportive shirt? Or a mistranslated shirt? Or an offensive shirt? I can't tell. This is so far out there. <laughs> what? Mom, can you get me some brand clothing? I really want my autism hoodie. Was there a board of people reviewing this and just like, yeah, yeah, Steve, print it. And hero, transform big. Amazing strange <laughs> rope. That's a different way of saying Spider-Man. String man person. Mmm. The whole like punchline of the movies. Oh, Peter, you're, you're stringing me along. Yes, baby. A domino pizza. <laughs> pizza hot. <laughs> okay, cross-marketing opportunity. Pizza hot could be like an adult club, but you also get served pizza. So it's like a pizza buffet and adult activities on the side. Man, what a selling point. My god, I am just full of mediocre ideas. Hello there, you looking for Dove's mail edition? Well, I present to you Dave. 
beauty cream bar because you're worth it. Buy Dave today and be smooth as slime. When I got a plumbing a business going under, so you fake your death and change your name. Marco Pasta. <laughs> Super Marco Pasta. Mario really fell off. Super. <gasps> oh my surprise. Yeah, it was a surprise indeed, but not like a. Not in like a positive way. Pokemon! Uh, I choose you! Go Perkachoing! Perkachoing! <laughs> this is atrocious! Oh, I see what they did. They managed to put the blushies where the eyes are supposed to be and vice versa. It would have looked pretty normal. And if you like cover the eyes with your thumbs, it just looks like a demonic rampaging Pikachu. Not gonna lie, I kinda want this. Where can I buy this? Does anyone know? Is there a store for just botched Pokemon? Ah oh, yes, the new smartphone. Zamzong. Mmm. Nice. Little master exercise book. We have... Uh, oh. Oh, di Oh, my... Oh. Well, at least Scooby's looking kind of normal. Dear God, what happened? Ah, uh, finally recognizable brand. Wait a second. The huge mountain. <sighs> Unusual events. Unusual events adult wig. Ah, oh, yes. Unusual events. My favorite show. <laughs> I remember that episode where uh, unusual events occurred in the unusual event series. It was very flabbergasting. Wilco, don't torment me. Wilco, who am I? Ah! I don't want my board game evenings to trigger existential questions. Uh, we, uh, we do it to forget. A picture of all the affordable doctors in the USA. Dr. Ch Ch Choik, Dr. Bold, Dr. Perfect, Dr. Bob. <laughs> Real doctor, Dr. Thunder, Dr. Wright, Big K, Dr. K, Dr. Shaws, Dr. A+, Zivia, Refreshy. Refreshy? It's not even a real word. Really, really tumbling downhill at an alarming rate. Bartnoth books. Bartnoth beer. Bartnoth babes. Yeah, they they do. In the last picture, that they do they do be kind of looking like the family tree is like a ladder. Who yeehaw. A depot. <laughs> we have Sam and Sam again and Sam again. Wait, everything is just called Sam. Why is every character named Sam? Imagine if you had a kids movie and every single character just had the same name and nobody like made a big deal about it. Everyone in the movie acted as if everything was completely coherent and the kids are just like. I can't follow this! <laughs> calm down there, Satan. Oh! I will not calm down. Not while you are here. Oh, you smell so very nice today. Uh, while you're here and smelling that well, I, I'm i simply way too excited. I, I sincerely, deeply apologize. Glass pipes. No! <laughs> pee pee! Richard the pickle pipe! You really tried, and it looks horrible. Yeah, sharp hand Joe. It really doesn't have the same kind of oomph, does it? It's very on the nose. It's, it's like if you just renamed superheroes and villains after the most obvious features. You know, Wolverine would be Claw Hand Man. Doctor Xavier would just be Big Thunk. <laughs> Man, I would be- I should be a scriptwriter. Hollywood, but if you zoom out a little bit, you'll notice that Hollywood really fell off. Dear God. Man, that's- that's not how I remember it. Let's just ignore the gigantic saw for a second and focus on the Junior Motos truck company logo. Junior Motos. <laughs> okay. I am not joking. One of Trump's proposed logos for Space Force is a lazy butt ripoff of NASA. Space Force! NASA. The, the series Space Force, though, is pretty good. It's very funny. And I like how they always talk about POTUS in that series, and it's kind of like <laughs> always very silly, and it's kind of, you know, intended to be about someone, but they never say it explicitly. It's very funny. Tomato condiment. Uh, ketchup isn't the brand name. When you just want to be really careful, like, we can't call our steak, steak. Burnt cow. Yes. Pizza king. Burger hut. <laughs> it's so good. Ta-da. So here's just a normal little, I don't know, toy gun or something, and... Wait, that's Thomas the Train. Thomas the Assault Rifle does does have kind of a different vibe to it. Thomas saw all the kids in front. No, stop. Oh, God, that's that's take going down a dark road. Thomas, cease. They're great versus daylight. Kellogg's Frosted Flakes. Frosty Corn Flake. That, that looks very off-brand. <laughs> this looks like something I would draw in, like, fifth grade. <laughs> 
The Big Bong Theory, Annoying Indoor Dweeb. Ah yes, I love my favorite character, Annoying Indoor Dweeb. But also, this could have been such a good pun. If you instead made like a Big Bang Theory themed bong and called it the Big Bong Theory, I would legitimately be impressed by the puntacular quality of that product. This, not so much. Nintendo Switch. Wait, that doesn't say... Switch. <laughs> <laughs> this is not good for my dyslaxative brain. <laughs> I just read it normally. You got beaned by Nintendo. As long as he's got the receipt, he should be able to switch it out. Switch. You barely escaped the grass of Pun Patrol. Take that. So in Nintendo, you have red Mario and you have green Mario. I'm just trusting the caption. I'm a little bit car colorblind, but ha 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 ha, off brand. Nintendo Game Boy. Game Child. <laughs> Ah, the good old memories with my classic game child. Xbox One! What? That's just a VHS player you just glued an Xbox logo onto. <laughs> Xbox One, a hundred dollars! This is the kind of stuff someone's poor grandma is gonna buy by accident and give some kid for Christmas. Yeah, Jimmy, I bought you this Xbox One. Grandma, this is a VHS player! But you can, it probably has a lot of good games, Timmy. Ooh. Godzilla vs. Jesus, King of Monsters, King of... of the Jesus. Action playset! This is so oddly specific, like what... what? What is this even based on? I mean, don't get me wrong, this is some Bible 2.0 kind of stuff in my book, this is amazing, but... What? Is that a Gucci bag? <laughs> Why the freak does this bag have 69 written all over it? 69, 69, 60... ooh. Well, that's... that's a very interesting brand you have there. Phony! <laughs> what is... At least they're honest. Ah, Halloween costume, Cyberman or Padre, men's costume. Love myself, Cyberman. Me. Can we go watch Avengers Endgame? Mom, we have Avengers Endgame at home. Avengers Endgame at home. Bible Man. Power, what does that say? Power, power source, turning out the unholy hero. Ah, I love myself some Bible Man. He's really turning my sins into lasers. So we have r slash crappy off brands and we have r slash crappy off brands. Is that when you have brands specifically revolving around creps? Or is it something else? You know, I can highly recommend it. I have a couple of Asus monitors, right? They're, they work very nicely for me. Very good gaming monitors. And uh, I got these jeans, uh, Asus jeans, <laughs> along with my purchase. They go perfect with your Asus screens. <laughs> so here we have a couple of gentlemen, and this is Hollywood. My god, this is Hollywood if I've ever seen one. It's such a vibe, though. They've probably just seen it in movies and stuff. You know what? We have a hill here. Let's, let's just ride it. Who's gonna stop us? Who's gonna care? Seven Evelyn. <gasps> oh my god, I would unironically buy stuff from Seven Evelyn. That's such a vibe. AFC and Tucky Fried Chicken. Ben Tucky Fried Chicken. Kentucky Fried Kentucky? Frickin' Frick fr Kentucky. I'm trying to like, let's frick Kentucky. Okay, that maybe that's a bit uh, over the top. Guys, we're flattered. Kentucky Fried, uh... <laughs> yes. If you're hungry, have a break, have a cat cut. Mm, I love myself a cat cut. Meats by Dr. Dre. What do you mean, meats? Is it supposed to be beets? I don't know, Me <laughs> meats? Stimulate your ear meat today, Timmy. X Game 360. What are those controllers? How are you even supposed to hold that? They're so tight. It's just a little lump. <laughs> How is this ergonomical? And I don't even know what the hell you're supposed to use that gun for. This is the kind of stuff grandma would accidentally buy you for Christmas. I got you your X Play Game Boy. Ooh. Real life redemption through Jesus. Come on Sunday. Man. Red Dead Jesus is really looking lit. Oh my god, my new Game Boy is here. But why does it only have one game? Peppa Pig is a little bit off-brand, isn't it? Is your Game Boy supposed to be filled with water? Yes. A lad in co a costume. <laughs> oh, so you try to get like past the copyright saying, this is a lad in a costume. It's fine. It's not Aladdin. It's just a lad <laughs> in a costume. Better call Saul. Saul Goodman. Better call Chris. <laughs> <sighs> Do you like Toy Story? Yes, I like Toy Story. It's very nostalgic and sweet. Have you heard about uh, Toy Nightmare? Here's Toy Nightmare. Mm, he sees deep into your soul. Enlighten. What is that Lego figure? Oh my god, what? Special Mission Zero. What? ACDC Learning Center. Man, ACDC really took a turn. I mean, stop making music, start making learning centers, I suppose. That's good, right? Ethric. Fardon. 
Flora. Man, I, I love the s -Rec movies. My favorite is probably the third. What a vibe. Trans boy. That's not what it... It's not... <laughs> that's not what it means to... <laughs> Which is your favorite trans movie? Oh, it's... The, the, oh. Google Slides. That is so smooth, though, because it's like slides as in slippers, but you stole the Google Slides logo for it. So it's just like a random document logo on your off-brand slippers. <laughs> this is so good. This is so good. Oh, it's Shorkla. I'm a why would you give your kids nightmares for no good reason? Who made this? My mom wanted a Baby Yoda so bad that she ordered a bootleg one, and, uh, well, he came in today. I don't think this is the way. Oh, baby Yorkla! <laughs> Why does it look so botched? One thing I don't understand with so many of these off-brand plushy products is why do they try to add so many details when they clearly have no idea how to put it together? You could just have used, like, you know, a completely smooth just lump with a couple of eyes for the head, and it would have been better. This is like some wrinkly looking ass wet sock, moldy motherfricker. It's so bad. Sean Connery versus the ca- the pee pee. Ah, I always loved when Sean Connery took on the pee pee. It's a very intense movie with a lot of uh, action. It's an action movie, if you know what I mean. Yes, that kind of action. Ah, oh my god, what is- the, what happened? What is wrong with the face in the middle? What is- what- how- just found out about the same vacuum as this last user. It doesn't have any vacuum capabilities. It just floats around on the floor. I like how this Roomba seems to be like remotely popular. That's the best part. It doesn't even have a suction hole. It just rolls around random. Like, oh, what a good Roomba. Look, I don't have to vacuum anymore because I have this random piece of equipment rolling around doing jack shite. Yay, Naruto. Mmm. Nanika Smitch. Oh, I love myself a smitch. Winner of absolutely no awards, but who cares? <laughs> Actually, that's pretty funny. I'll give him credit for that. That's pretty funny. The train. Restoring ancient ways. What? Transformers 2. <laughs> <laughs> Remember that scene when Gimli falls off the Titanic? That's uh, so good when, when Harry casts Love your soul. On the, on the, on the, on Omegatron, and, and freaking Legolas is like, Oh, Harry, stop, it's Akio Bot. It's such a good movie. It's amazing. It has everything, literally everything, and a lot of stuff that isn't supposed to be there. Dr. Fish. Mm. I love myself, Dr. Fish. I really enjoyed the first movie. Very good. Deformed car. He struggles with the deformity of standing out from other cars. Watch. Deformed Car 3 today. That's actually kind of inspirational. That's kind of a cutesy movie. It's like, it could be like a kid's movie. The car that was different, but managed to be more badass than everyone else anyway. I would watch Deformed Car. Minecraft 2. Look at those figurines. They... <laughs> it just looked like you melted a bunch of plastic and put random features on it. This looks so atrocious. Toy Story 5. So here's Woody. Woody What happened to your body, Woody? Why are your shoulders wider than I am tall? That is terrifying, Woody. What? I don't give a frick how hard times get. I am not drinking no mountain lion and definitely no gosh darn Dr. Perky. What do you mean, Dr. Perky? That sounds really shady. Vzzm. Obama. I always wanted myself the legendary Jedi Knight, Obama. <laughs> It's exclusive. Just two dollars? I would so buy a two dollar exclusive Obama Jedi toy. Why, why isn't this in my local store? Gucci. Why are there so many Peppa Pig Gucci things? I don't get this. It's so weird. So here's a little controller. We have triangle button, circle, cross, and square. So instead of just shaping the buttons, you wrote the shape on it. <laughs> why? Barber King. That's pretty funny. Oh my god, cut your hair, grab a burger. Mwah. Dragon Birth. <laughs> Dragon Ball Q. Mountain View. And you see there's a mute view of a, of a mountain on the bottle, hence the name. Mountain View. Do you want our original m m Mountain View soda? Hmm? Finger Strange. <laughs> my favorite series, Finger Strange. Pikachu. 
This is the kind of vibe that if you enter this toy store without buying anything, Pikachu will do questionable things to you. This is a hostage situation, I'm I'm very sure. Monopolio, <laughs> an international trade game. Monopolio. Gotta love myself a little bit of polio while doing the capitalism. So oh, yes, indeed. Oh, look at that. I didn't know Tesla expanded their, their business model to like off-brand sodas. That's amazing. Wow. They even have alcohol in them? Sweet. Well, laddies, lasses, and lasses, I do hope you enjoyed this amazing, atrocious mess as I enjoyed having you here today. You beautiful bean, you brighten up my day. And I do hope you have an amazing rest of your day, and I will see you in the very near future. Take care. Mwah.